what up it's your tall guy not at a theme park i'm actually somewhere that we hold very close to ourselves during the halloween season i feel like it's tradition at this point spirit halloween we're here to check out uh what's the theme new theme for this year all the animatronics new merch if any just have a good time so if you guys haven't already dropped a like let's go inside and check it out we are at the chino hills spirit halloween location just right off the bat, let's see what animatronic is waiting for us. All right, who are you? You already know we gotta. Does it work? Oh, there it goes. Funny. Spirit Hollow Cemetery. So I guess that's the theming for the animatronics this year. Look at that. <laughs> Right, let's see what this one does. Got a step. Come on. Oh. Oh. That's new. <laughs> Creative. I like it. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. Oh, there we go. That's actually neat. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> and let's see, we got a scarecrow over here. I think I've seen the scarecrows before. The ones they usually do usually pop their heads up. I've been keeping these tools nice and sharp. Just in case the farmer's spirit returns this year. I think he will be very pleased with how I've been running things. So I know this spirit Halloween isn't the biggest one I've been to. But it was the one that was open uh, close to my location. Chino Hills location is open. And these are all the animatronics that they have so far. But I did see some cool merchandise up ahead. And unique costumes. So let's go check those out. You know, Spirit Halloween's got to celebrate its classic slasher. So we got Jason right over here. We got some of the standard stuff. Nothing too big. We got the Camp Crystal Lake suits. Love it, love it. And just right over here. Oh, not to mention. Sam from Trick or Treat. We got his treat bag, his lollipop, and we got some of the masks that the children wore throughout the movie. They <laughs> were massacred in the bus. And just right over here, Michael comes home. We got the mask from Halloween, and we got Halloween ends. Then I saw the kills. No, I think I did it. Halloween 2. We get the very first one. That's actually not a not a bad mask, actually, if you think about it. From Trick or Treat Studios, so it's pretty solid. Had to come and check out the Beetlejuice stuff they got. Look, they got a Beetlejuice sign that lights up. Check this out. Very nice. No audio. Wish there was audio, but that'll be cool. And we got the plushies down here. Look at that. Got the sandworm down there. Got some cool cups. Wall decor. Gotta love the blankets too though. And just to showcase more of the Beetlejuice stuff, we got some masks. We got a Barbara mask. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Beetlejuice in his wedding suit. Check this out though. Handbook for the recently deceased crossbody. That is neat. Never seen that before. Some female suits. We got the Lydia wedding dress as well. We got some cool beanies here and there. I assume we got some fun socks. Because it's a show about that. And just right next to it, we got some NBC merch. Got Oogie Boogie. We got Zero. More wall decor. Hang Zero up on the Look at that. Very nice. Does it light up? Oh, it does not light up. That'll be cool though. And tucked into the little corner over here, we have some Hocus Pocus stuff. Got the police light up the core panel. Okay. Some wall decor. Got them coffee mugs. You know, spread all of them. Got to sell the coffee mugs. Like 
Love it. I gotta say, it's August, but when the Spirit Halloween opens, people come because, like I mentioned, it's tradition at this point. <laughs> You know, I always love the memes how if a store closes down, they're going to slap a spirit Halloween right over it. Well, here's the reminiscent of the store that was here. Uh, I want to say it was a shoe shop. I think it was uh, an active store. Something to that because they got rid of some of the stuff that's still left behind, especially at the entrance. Love, love, love the killer clowns from outer space stuff. Look, we got the masks, some of the costumes. What's this down here? You got a crossbody bag of it? Okay, okay. Hey, check this out. <laughs> they got the blasters. That's a cool pickup, I ain't gonna lie. And just right next to it, we got Pennywise. We got the famous SS Georgia as a crossbody. Some of the costumes for male and female. Quick mask. We got the classic Pennywise, and then we got the modern. Oh look, he could be Georgie. And then they tucked Freddy right over in the corner. Why they do my boy like this? I love Freddy. This is actually one of the better masks. That's all right, actually, for what it's worth. Claws ain't too bad from here, though. Check this one out. Those are those are pretty decent. Some for the females, the males, and right next to it, bam, Chucky. We got a cool hat right here. We got a neat blade. Just standard good guy doll suits. Nothing too fancy. Got a Chucky hatchet. That's kind of cool. I never cosplayed Leatherface, but, you know, it's on the bucket list. I kind of want to do it one day. Get a cool chainsaw prop out there. <laughs> chainsaw with no no chain to it. And we got some HHN vibes. And you got some of the standard masks from over here inspired by uh, the Purge. Some of the Purge mask here. Ooh, we got a jack-o'-lantern. This is a hard plastic mask. Hey, right, check this out. This is kind of cool. Just a faceless chrome mask. I don't know. <laughs> And then for any last minute cosplayers, we got some of your weapons here on Showcase. I've seen these last year, they got some of the clown props right here. Standard knives, machetes, hatchets. Can't go wrong. Great prop pieces for your costumes. Some scythes for any reapers out there. Not gonna lie, I'm thinking about one of these doormats right here. Look, cat or clown from outer space. Michael Myers, Chucky Good Guy, we got more Michael, Ghostface, oh, okay, okay, no way, this is the last one too, Mars Attack, so way, that is dope, speaking of Mars Attack, check this out, some of that wall that I was talking about, look at that, they got the blasters, if you move it to left and right, changes, hardly see any of this stuff out there that's really cool oh look a layout of the hotel <laughs> that's kind of cool got the hedge and matrix. just a quick showcase of the, some of the more family friendlier things we'll just go over some of the costumes real quick we got going on but some of the most popular ones that i saw bluey i know bluey's been a big hit this year and we got some costumes going on we got Got some other puppies. Look, it's a mini. Uh, what do you call this? Trick or treat bag. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of freaky. I, I don't. Yeah, no. I'll pass on that bullseye. Got some cars costumes. You could dress up as Tow Mater, Lightning McQueen, Good Chow. Nice pit crew costume. And if your kids are more into the spookier scene, we got some uh, kid fitting costumes. So we got female Chucky, you got Tiffany down there. We got the male version for Chucky, good guy doll. We got a Beetlejuice outfit and Ghostbuster jumpsuits. 
Stay Puff inflatable suit for the kids. Gotta love it. Then just right behind me, we got some Disney stuff. Incredible Stitch, Encanto. Then we got some Fortnite costumes. I know Fortnite is still hot to this day. So here are some of the characters you could dress up as for Halloween. Personally, I would have thought their Barbie collection would have been a lot bigger this year considering how successful the movie was, but it's not much to it. Just a simple pink sweater, which by the way, is not going to help. It's like going to be the hottest Halloween this year. <laughs> Looking at the summer so far. But that's the dress. Nothing too hot, right? But right next to it, hey, we got the mystery, we got the mystery machine, the Scooby Gang, Velma, Fred, Daft, Shaggy. I'd love to see it. Someone be Scooby Doo this year. Come on. Someone be the mystery machine this year. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I take that back. I found more Barbie stuff. We got the power jumpsuit, Western Barbie, and that's about it. All youth sizes. I don't see anything in adult. We're gonna move on Spirit to capitalize on Wednesday. Season two is set to come out indefinitely. I don't know when. But we got some of the suit costume pieces here. I think it comes in youth and adults. All right, and to close out the video over here at the checkout line, we got some cool novelty stickers, magnets, and stuff we could put up. Not bad, like, yeah, we got the Gremlins representing at school. I like that they have official Universal Monster stuff in the store as well. We got a sticker, we got Mars Attacks magnets, yo. Some cool keychains to check out. Yeah, mini backpacks as a keychain. <laughs> okay. Lanyards. There's some more stuff too. I'm gonna lie, Spirit Halloween comes out with some of the coolest coffee mugs to buy. Look at that. Nightmare one, you got Halloween. Check out this Jason one though. Yeah, Freddy right underneath it. Smiley. All right, that is gonna conclude our trip to Spirit Halloween. I was told by the employees that there is more to come. It is nearly half the stuff there, so I'll probably come back and do a quick update video to see what else is new. But in the meantime, this is what I picked up. Some spooky pens. Yeah, it's uh, these are pens. It's pretty cool. And uh, this button that says, this is my Halloween costume. So I will be sporting that at um, Horror Nights soon enough. All right, you guys, drop a like, comment down below. You'll catch this tall guy at the next theme park or spirit Halloween. I am out of here.